Hello. Not done one of these in a while, uh, so I thought I'd get back into it. Do you remember uh, I've been posting uh, things? Uh, I've been trying to talk for 10 minutes uh, about something just based on receiving one word from people. And, um, well, here I'm back. So I've already wasted 20 seconds of this 10 minutes telling you that. So we probably best press on. Um, the word that I've chosen today uh, is one that I've been harassed about. Uh, since I started doing this, and every time I met the person in question, they kept saying, when are you going to do my word? So the word that I've chosen today is the word fanny. So there we go. Um, the word fanny. Um, I'm not a massive fan of fanny. Uh, but I, I don't like it as a word. Um, I think it's just, I don't know. I, I, it just doesn't sit right with me. Fanny just doesn't sit right with me. There's loads of, obviously, uh, fanny can be used as a kind of derogatory term for somebody like, he's a bit of a fanny. Uh, and a word that other words for female genitalia uh, can be used, but can almost be put in a positive slant. They can say somebody's a, a good cunt, he's a good cunt, but nobody ever thinks of the positive aspects of the word fanny when referring to another human being, unless it's your name obviously, but usually if you call somebody a fanny, it's because they're a bit of an arse, which is ironic because your arse and your fanny are two different things, as I discovered during uh, one night of sexual awakening. Um, so, so yeah, so I'm not a massive fan of the word. I don't really like it that much. Uh, the reason this word was chosen was a bit of an in-joke. Uh, it's my friend Mandy Stewart, who, when she discovered that I worked for the NHS, uh, her first question was, are you a fanny doctor? Which was her quaint way of asking if I was a gynaecologist. Which which, which I quite liked because, one, it meant she thought I was smart enough to be a doctor, which I'm not. And two, uh, if I was going to be a doctor, I'd probably be quite a good job because I do um, have quite an appreciation of the female form and uh, the, 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 the vagina is definitely kind of my target demographic in terms of uh, bits of women that I do like, and that's not a misogynistic thing. That's just a a horny thing, to be honest. So, so it was quite quite good. Uh, I'm not a a fanny doctor, as you can probably gather. I'm the opposite of a fanny doctor. I'm a date analyst, which means I probably don't see enough vaginas because nobody ever gets turned on by the thought of a a date analyst. So you can't really, you can't really do much of that. So, so data analysis is the opposite of gynaecology. I don't get a whiff of vaginas. Uh, not that I want a whiff of vaginas much. I don't know where I'm going with that. It's, I'll cut that out. That's the thing that people always do. And these things, they say I'll cut that out, and then it stays in. So I've done that there. I've got no intention of cutting it out. It's staying. Uh, I don't, you know, I'm doing this on my iPad, so I don't even have like, an app or any form of technology that could cut that bit out. So I don't even know why I said it. So, so the, it's staying in basically. Uh, so I, um, so Fanny's the word, um, the word of the day, which I don't like. Fanny to me is the, the kind of female genitalia equivalent of uh, the word giblets. I'm, I'm not a big fan of the word. I think it, this is, there's something more derogatory about the word fanny than there is about other words like cunt. Uh, I don't like fanny. I, I, I went out with a girl um, and she was very smart. She was very intelligent, a lot smarter and more intelligent than me, which, which wouldn't be that difficult. But she used that word to describe. And she, I mean, and... She was so clever and so articulate and so smart. I won't mention her name because a couple of people uh, that I'm friends with on Facebook uh, are are still friends with her. So I, 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 won't, I won't mention her by name, but she was very smart. And the only thing about her, apart from the fact that she turned out to be a bit of a bitch, the only thing about her was the fact that she used this word, Fanny, to describe her vagina, I don't know, what do you say, what, I don't even know in this day and age what I'm supposed to refer to, to the female foof as, I don't know, what are the, what, what are the kids calling it these days, I don't know, fanny seems based, cunt's just too strong a word, although women are taking it back, 
uh, vagina sounds too. You wouldn't you wouldn't basically uh, be taking a, a a girl home and on the taxi ride back start kissing her quite passionately and saying, "Can't wait to get in about your vagina, sweetheart." So there's got to be I don't know. A pussy sounds too American as well. It sounds like you've you've been watching really kind of cheap porn. Um, so I don't know. If anybody who, when, when, when this video comes on, if somebody can just tell me what they refer to as the, the, the female vagina, as opposed to the male vagina, there we go. Um, what, what, what are people calling? What are people calling fannies these days is the question. But the, the point of this is that, that really uh, the word fanny just probably isn't used that much anymore when it is, it just doesn't seem right. It doesn't feel right. Um, Fanny's Fanny's good as well, but you always I remember just reading books when I was growing up, and there were maybe like books from the era of Charles Dickens, and you would be reading away, and suddenly you're confronted by a Fanny, uh, a character called Fanny, obviously, and you just didn't know what to do. You're just kind of going, ah, um, Fanny said this, and you're going, ho, ho, ho. especially in English class, uh, and and obviously you know if it was a particularly clever writer, they would say, you can't do that, Fanny ejaculated. And you're going, what? So, so yeah, um, Fanny, Fanny is, should just be kept in the Keynesian books. Keep your Fanny for your dickens. There you go. Uh, that's, 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 if you take anything from that, take that. Um, which just has reminded me that uh, a funny story that I got told uh, years ago from my pal Douglas, my pal Douglas Will, if you're watching this, Douglas, uh, hello. Uh, years ago, uh, Douglas's grandmother lived up in Aberdeen, up up in Aberdeen, right there, up there, up there in Aberdeen, um, and she had a neighbour, uh, and this was obviously, you know, she's she was an old woman, so we're talking about somebody who who was probably born in Dickensian times. Uh, so this woman who lived next door to Douglas's gran. Uh, had the name. <laughs> she was called. Not one word of a lie. This is one hundred percent truth. Uh, if if Douglas is watching this, uh, he can he can verify it. Uh, <laughs> sorry, this is, this is going to be just ten minutes of me laughing before before I give you the the punchline to this particular one. Uh, she was called. She was from Aberdeen, and her name was. Wait for it. Are you ready? Are you ready for this one? This is a good one. I bet you've built it up now and it'll be shite now, but uh, with with no hint of irony whatsoever, I can safely tell you that the woman was called Fanny Cocker. So there you go. Fanny Cocker was her name. Uh, I'm assuming that she was married, so, so she might have been called like Fanny Adams or something, and then she married into the name Cocker. So when she was married, Fanny Cocker was her name, uh, which is which is quite funny. Uh, in my opinion, maybe nobody else is laughing, but I thought it was quite good. Uh, and that got me thinking, I work for the NHS. And my email address is John Crothers, blah, blah, right, okay. But if you get an email from me, it comes in as Carruthers John. So that's how it comes in. So if you get an email from me on NHS, it'll say, email from Carruthers John. So that's fine, that's great. We've got, like, uh, there's also a guy that works uh, for the NHS called Stanley Black. So when you get an email for him, you get an email for Black Stanley, which just sounds a wee bit racist. And there's a guy called Robert Love, and you get an email for Love Bobby. So stuff like that. But anyway, that got me thinking that if Fanny Cocker was alive today, because I've no doubt she's now dead, God rest her soul. If Fanny Cocker was alive today, and uh, she wasn't past retirement age, and she was still, and she wasn't like one of these older people that have a bit of a fear of technology, and if you brought all that together and she also happened to be working for the National Health Service uh, and she was to send me an email today, just today, just imagine, she's sending me an email today saying, hello John, hope this email finds you well, where are my figures, you bastard, hopefully she would clean that up a bit because we've got we've got IT guys that would, would be right in about that if she started swearing at me over the email. But if she was alive today, Fanny Cocker would send me an email today from our NHS account, and I'd get an email in saying that it was from Cocker Fanny. <laughs>